Hello guys, nice to see you. Like you already saw in intro, we are building something powerful today. Gearboxes and water bumps are not new in this channel, but this time we are taking this into the next level. But before we start building, I wanna say that all the STL files are free in the video description below, like always in this channel. So feel free to build this by your own. If you are planning to do this by yourself, you also need 8 electric motors. Those one what I am using is 12 volts and 27.5 diameter. But over here I did one design flow. What is actually not bad thing because I had to start thinking again. So I designed one spacer where motor fit in really tightly. And the spacer I can glue to the main body. But why is this good? If you have some other type of motors, you just have to design your own spacer and you can use them in this project. But they cannot be bigger than 37.5 diameter. So if this have been said, then just glue the spacers to the main body. Eight times. So next step is to attach gears to the motors. And by the way, those small gears are only parts in this project what need a bit support material for 3D printing. So like you see, attaching those small gears to the motors are pretty simple. Physically it can be a bit hard, but nothing crazy. And if the smaller ones are in place, now it's time for the bigger ones. For this you also need 8mm steel rod. Installing the first gear takes you a bit more time than others. If this is in the right place, the other gears will be also. And then use 4mm set screws to secure the gear. And now installing other gears are easy busy. Well, this thing over here. I explain this later in this video a bit more, but really simply this cannot let gearbox shaft moving backwards and disconnect with motors. But now it's time to install bearings. Two bearings have to go back side of the shaft and one to the front. And bearings have their own slots there, they fit there perfectly. Ah, but wait, no. Uh, this front side bearing have to be installed to the front cover and then the shaft have to be pushed through there. And now for the backside bearings, we have to install cover with 4mm bolts. But here is one problem. This backside thing, we have to install lock nuts and bolts first. So I fastly disassemble this and fix the problem. Why this thing at the back is so important? Well, actually everything is pretty simple. The gearbox shaft cannot move forward because there are smaller gears and they are blocking the movement. But the shaft can move backwards and if this happened, the gears will be disconnected and shaft is not turning anymore. This is bad and we don't want this. That's why there is 6mm bolt what I am screwing right now. And when this is touching to the back tip of the shaft, it cannot move backwards anymore. But really important, don't tight this up too hard, you just have to slightly touch it. Everything is almost done, only soldering, this is really boring part, nothing to speak about this, fast time lapse. And now finally, it's time for the first test. Well, this is really loud, but it works perfectly. But now it's time to build and install water pump. For no reason, I did aceton vaporing for the impeller. If you are interested about aceton vaporing and building this environment what you see right now, well I have also a video for it. Well like you see, this came out perfectly and this is extremely smooth. Now when this is done, we can finally finish the water pump. We start with installing same size bearing what you used before. After this, we can attach water pump body to the gearbox. For impeller, I use a bit super glue and off camera, I grind one millimeter material away from one side of the steel rod. For the water pump front cover, I use a bit silicon to make this water tight. And secure this to the place with three millimeter bolts. And now finally, everything is ready. But before we fire this water bump up, maybe we wanna hit the subscribe button, leave the like for this video and turn the notification bell on. This will be huge support for me, so thank you a lot.
And actually, I want to thank you everybody who have already done this. And thank you all for the positive feedback and who have liked my videos and share with your friends and family and I just gonna thank you enough. But okay, now back to the video. I back my water pump up and drive to the new location where we start testing. I find one bucket where I cut the hole and hot glue their water pump intake. In this bucket I pump the water from the kaev and when I turn the water pump on the water what is in bucket will start flying. I take the power for the water pump straight from the 12 volt power drill battery. And by the way one thing more what I have to mention, everything is printed out with ABS. Probably everything should work with PLA also but I'm just ABS fan, nothing to do with it. But okay, now it's time to pump the water to the bucket and fire this water pump up. Right now water pump impeller turning wrong way. I fix this problem in next round. And actually there is lot of water inside the gearbox. I actually tried to build this leaking proof but still the bearings and bolts probably are leaking. But this doesn't mean that we stop here. A bit water in my face, no problem. In this footage just look how fast the bucket become empty. And remember water is continuously running in the bucket. Well, not bad, or <laughs> what you think, leave the comment below. In this channel you will see this gearbox more. I am already planning to build RC boat or chip out of this and maybe try to attach some powerful gearbox and lift something heavy. I leave you here with couple of shots of this water pump more, but thank you for watching and see you guys next time. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.